My name is Mark L. Moment Hall of Famer PD Nice, and we will be talking about money to make predictions for the 2022. I'm doing this on a PowerPoint because I get 90% of matches right on pay per views. So I thought I'd do this for fun. If this catch is on, I will upgrade. But let's start our show. As you can see, I did get the six man tag at WrestleMania wrong. I put this, this in here, and I'm not going to do this going forward, but I did this for a reason. I got this one wrong. It was my one of two matches wrong. But if you look over here, I had Ezekiel and AJ Styles at a 50.1%. And I was like, I'm not sure Kevin Owens and Edge could win 49.9%. But with that, we're going to start the predictions because I don't just add it. He's got our last money to pick uh, the better. So let's head into it. But first, we got to talk about Lashley and Austin Deary for the United States title. I'm thinking this goes to Deary. But I can also see Lashley winning this. If it's Cena versus Deary, I don't think it's going to be for the United States title. Although I already said I'm going with Deary, and I will say I am going with Deary to defend. And. Uh, I don't know what dudes you know at SummerSlam, but I don't control WWE. If going forward we did do Cena, I think Cena can beat Theory at SummerSlam and then Theory can win back at Clash of the Castle. But I've spent too much time on this because I think that Theory's winning. <laughs> Next, Ron Rousey versus Italian. I'm going to say this ends with a roll up. Yes, you heard me, a roll-up. And why do you think I, and why do I say that? Because, they've been talking about submissions this entire time. That's right. So why is this not a submission match? Can somebody tell me why this is not a submission match? Ronda wins, then we get a rematch at SummerSlam. I, I, and it's going to be a submission match. I can't say anything else about this. Bianca and Carmella. Now, Carmella's, Got good game on Twitter saying this is her moment. And if she did win, she would become a double crown champion. Of course, she's already held this tag team titles and this uh, Mega Women's title. But Carmella is a replacement of Rhea Ripley, who got injured. I think it's a concussion. I'm going to go with Bel Air, but I am going to say this is my 50.9 match because if we're going to have a shock value, of something that's so out there, I think this could be it. But remember, I picked Bianca. So, uh, final prediction is Bianca Bell where, where wins, but Carmella could be the shocking upset win. Now, you see here, there's a stipulation, because on Raw, the Street Profits won, saying they're going to get a stipulation for the Undisputed Tag Team titles. Didn't happen. Back down's over. I have not seen it. It's 6 past 10. I have not seen the stipulation ad for this match. They have run SmackDown, didn't see it. I'm going to go with the Usos, but if the Profits do win, I think they take off the Raw Tasting titles. I think whenever the Usos do lose, they will lose one title. And Survivor Series is right around the corner, I believe, two weeks before Survivor Series or the week before. It's November 15th. Is the day the Usos become the longest rated Tasting champion beating the New Day. Also a Tuesday, so and I see anybody notification match. Just saying, I, I don't see this profits winning. I, I'm gonna go with the bloodline, and hopefully the titles get separated soon. And hopefully we add like a full count anywhere. Street fight, the cage, something stipulation on here. Uh, I mean, is is the whole gimmick the analysis on the pre-show or on the bump or social media? And, oh, well, the Usos didn't know what match they were going into, so the Profits have the advantage. I don't know. I really don't care. I don't want to see. Because I know the Usos are going to retain anyway. Now, I said I was a smart guy, moment Hall of Famer. I used one of their gimmicks called Call the Spot on uh, the upper, the first one. My whole favorite is Becky Lynch. My main adventure is Asuka. Alexa Bliss is my upper mid Carter. Morgan's my mid mid, mid uh, my mid Carter. There's no mid mid Carter. 
But Kellen Grant or not, Rodriguez is my lower mid Carter, and that's supposed to have an R. Well, all right. Well, that's an error, and I'm not recording. Re recording this. So. Uh, lower. My job is Lacey Evans, my release is Shotzi. It's called Cold Spot. I gotta rank these people. I rank the order of the winners. I'm gonna go from the bottom to the top of the seven people in here. Asuka, won it already. She got some momentum, but I don't think that she's winning. Shotzi's only up there because, as I said with Carmella, we could have a shot. And I think Shotzi would be the shock. Do I think she's winning? No. Alexa Bliss also has won it, and I really don't think she's going to. I could actually see Lily being somehow on the top, and Alexa diving for Lily to kick her out of the match. Raquel is no, and that's why she's lower mid Carter on my call the spot. But I think that eventually she'll overtake, maybe, oh, definitely Liv, but maybe even Alexa. But I think she's just going to be the strong one to draw people around, and that's why she's in the middle of the list. Then Morgan has all that momentum going for her, but I do not think it's her. It was originally my number two until Spark Out Moment said something, and I don't know who it was, but Lacey Evans. It's the 4th of July. She's a former Marine or whatever. I can see it. But I'm going to take the same bet and go with Becky Lynch. Because she's on the poster, no? Because I think her uh, story of devolving into madness will play off where she finally wins Money in the Bank and then catches in at SummerSlam after Bianca retains the title against Rhea Ripley and Bianca beats her in, what was it, 25 seconds, 28 seconds? It's the same that she did earlier. And we're heading to the main event. Now, at the time I'm recording this, I mean, I just down, going off air. I did not see the final. Uh, you know, I know who the final person is because it's on my uh, call the spot and my uh, order of winners. But it is Mad Cat Moss. I did not see the graphic, which, um, yeah. So, whatever. All favorite is definitely Seth Rollins out of everybody. Also, I think I had everybody up there. So, that's why there's a space there. No matter. My first try doing this, you know, we're going to see errors. Drew's definitely the better Benjamin Riddle's the upper mid Carter. Davis is definitely the mid Carter compared to the next three. Almost is the lower mid Carter because I don't think he would work good as a jobber. And Matt Cap Ross is the wild card out of all them. Now, speaking of that, all my probable winners here, Matt Cap Ross is the lowest. You, you do not think he can pull a shot, see? I really don't. I don't. I think this spot was supposed to go to Cody Rhodes, and he got injured. So that that's Madcap, Sheamus. Also, I want to say this. I think Happy Corbin's gonna take Madcap out of the match. They'll have a match on SmackDown where Pat McAfee cost him, as Pat McAfee also saved. Uh, well, I guess he's gonna be out of the match because it's the end. But like, you get the point. Corbin's gonna be taken out by Pat McAfee. Sheamus has already won the match. I don't really see it. Like, Sheamus winning. Like, that would be another Shotzi. Like, I can't see this guy winning. Almost, I feel we're going to go, I want to say it was like 2009, but Big Show broke the ladder. I think we're going to get that again. Riddle can't challenge for the title anymore outside of this money in the bank, so I would probably say it's a better chance that Riddle doesn't win. Sammy has the whole bloodline thing going, so I put him a step above Riddle, and Sammy could probably switch, and depending on my mood, Drew McIntyre. He's already announced that he's going to take on Roman at Class of the Castle. So I don't think that he needs money to think, but he's the right number two because they can be like, oh, I got the mini case. Now I'm definitely taking you on at Class of the Castle. Rollins is on the poster, but, and I think he's going to win, and we're going to recreate the, the, the WrestleMania triple threat moment. Um, and I think it's going to be. He, like Brock and Roman knocked themselves out, and Seth says he's the only one standing or something. In the last man standing, and takes the title, the WWE title, of course, not the Universal title. That's also on the poster, and WWE loves to say for the first time ever. So, for the first time ever, a married couple, by the way, I believe yesterday or the day before was their wedding anniversary, has won the money in the bank. I think that's the way Money in the Bank's going to go. If we're, uh, the review, 
Usos, Seth, Becky, Theory, Bianca, and Ronda are my picks. And of course, that is all I have for this show. Of course, the image copyrighted are of the WWE. I got them for the Twitter account. Now just do a couple plugs and we'll head off. My name is PD Nice. I have autism. I am always looking for the WWE PR to come back to me for a charity like thing. I have to put it out there. And a video that involves WWE. Gotta do something for autism. Especially in uh not autism words, sorry, not autism words like April in Disability Pride Month. I have to throw it out there. If you're looking to find me more, I'm on Twitter at DD Nice WWE. You know, dream charity to to work with me. Um, so I took it just in case it ever happens. I also am a musician. I just released my song the moment about Spark Out Moment which I reside in their Hall of Fame, and I have 33 other songs, no, 32 other songs, would that be the 33? And that's all I got, so that's the nicest line, because PD Nice said so, and stay nice for disability rights.